I sure hope you guys are ready because we have a jam-packed month this month for the stock market. Well, not so much in the beginning of the month, but the second half of this month of January, guys, well, it's going to be a big one. And you might be thinking to yourself, Stas, wait, didn't earnings season just end? And I guess it kind of did just end. It feels like it did at least. And now we have earnings season starting in about a week from now, actually less than a week from now, as this Friday coming up, we have a bunch of banks reporting like JP Morgan, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, and a couple of other ones. So we have a lot to break down in this video, the stocks that I'm watching this month, my thoughts, charts, all that good stuff. So if y'all find value, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. You might as well follow me on X as well at Stocks Talk Stocks, link down below. And with that being said, guys, cheers. Let's dive right into the video so check it out we have obviously we've had a couple of days of red here in the stock market recently you guys probably know that the s p the dow actually not so much the dow but the nasdaq believe it or not the dow has held up pretty well this year but the s p the nasdaq the russell those three after ending off 2023 very strong those have taken a bit of a beating as you guys know we have spy down from 477.65 now it's at 467 so down about ten dollars or about two percent we have triple q here let's see guys that's down from 413 to about 396 so that's down around about four percent a little bit more actually double uh what the s p is down so we have sold off a bit but obviously in the grand scheme of things we're still in an uptrend obviously the bulls overall are not worrying right now but yeah we have seen some red we have seen some red over the past couple of days and that's how it goes guys this is how it plays out this is nothing new guys this is supernatural and uh, for all we know, we could easily start consolidating, maybe even bouncing pretty soon here. Time will tell. Overall, we're right by the 180 SMA on the four-hour chart here on Triple Q. And SPY is also, I believe, right by the 180 SMA as well. Yep, it's sitting right above it right now. Uh, so let's see if we do start bouncing off of that. It looks like we are starting to get some buying above that point, uh, but not full on, not a full on bounce quite yet. But yeah, that's a breakdown here on the indexes. Nothing crazy. I mean, you guys know already we've sold off a bit, but overall still holding an uptrend right by a moving average. Uh, the main moving average, uh, both SPY and Triple Q on the four hour charts. So let's see how that plays out. We'll see how it plays out heading into this week. And like I said, earnings season is pretty much here. And it seems like no joke, at least to me, it looks like, or it seems like earnings were just like last week. But I guess at this point, it's been a couple of weeks and uh, earnings season is right back upon us, guys, which I'm pumped about. We have a lot of companies uh, that we're going to gloss over in this video. We're not going to break down every single one in depth, but we're going to run through the charts very quickly on all these. See what companies are set to report this month. So this week we have JP Morgan on Friday, which obviously you guys know is a bank, arguably the best bank stock to own. I'm not going to say that myself, but a lot of people um, do say that. And this stock has done very well, guys, from 135. And I just realized, holy smokes, it's at 175 almost, guys. I didn't even realize uh, where this stock has gotten to. Holy crap. So it's up to uh, 175, which is definitely an all-time high. So that's up 26% in the past just over two months. So JP Morgan is on an absolute tear. Actually, wait, that might not be the all-time high. Hold on a second. Uh, yeah, it looks like it is. Yep, we just hit it. The all-time high before was from November 2021, where we hit about 172.73. So we barely took it out, but we did a couple of days ago, it looks like here. So fresh all-time high for JP Morgan. But guys, to be honest, I would not touch this thing uh, right now, personally, especially with earnings coming up, man, uh, it's very oversold or not oversold, overbought. It's ran up a ton, 26% in the past two months. 
let's be cautious let's be careful with jp morgan but keep your eyes on it let's see here guys we also have bank of america ticker symbol bac let me pull it up and show you guys and this is another one that's trading at maybe not an all-time high but for sure a 52 week high let me pull the one year up and see actually no not a 52 week high it's getting pretty close though and it's up around ten dollars from the recent 24 25 dollar low that it hit back in october november so bank of america is set to report this week it's pretty much at a high yeah on the four hour chart it is at a high so be careful with that but this is one that is technically breaking out uh heading into earnings i mean look we had an ascending triangle here on bac and it looks like that's slowly starting to play out here. You guys can see it's breaking out of there. So BAC, keep your eyes on it. Wells Fargo as well. WFC also kind of has an ascending triangle. You could argue, right, we have higher lows into that $50, $51 resistance. So let's see if WFC, Wells Fargo breaks out of there. Maybe after earnings, if the earnings are phenomenal, we'll see, guys. Uh, so those are a couple of banks that are reporting this Friday. I believe City as well. Let me pull up Citigroup and see if they're set to report. Yep, they're on Friday, and this is pretty much at a high on the four-hour chart as well. It's up 16 bucks per share in just the past two and a half months, guys. We're talking 42%. Be careful. Please be careful. Uh, but they're all set to report on Friday, and we have other ones like Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, I believe they're the week after, so not this week coming up, but the week after that, Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, a couple other ones as well. But then we have later in the month, we have Microsoft reporting earnings. Of course, we have Apple, which I think is on the 1st of uh, February. Maybe we'll talk more about them in another video. But later in the month, this month of January, I think mid-January, we have Microsoft, they're set to report. Let me see here the exact date, guys. They're set to report on the 23rd, so that's about uh, two weeks away from when I'm filming this video. Not sure when you're watching it, but uh, either way, probably around two weeks away uh, from when you're watching it. So Microsoft's been pretty flat for the last uh, almost two months now. Yeah, two months it's been trading between 365, 370. So let's see what direction Microsoft picks. Uh, you know, arguably it's overvalued. I mean, this thing just hit an all-time high, I think, a couple of weeks ago. So it looks like it's just cooling off a bit after hitting that all-time high. So I'm not a big fan. Of course, I love Microsoft, no doubt, as a company. But I'm not a big fan of the valuation. I think it's overvalued here. Same with a lot of these big tech names, to be honest, guys. Uh, I think they're pretty... I don't want to say they're all overvalued, but I'd say... Uh, they're either at fair value, a little bit above uh, fair value, or for sure overvalued for a lot of them. Uh, but either way, Microsoft is reporting earnings this month. We also have Johnson & Johnson, good old J&J, &J, which actually looks like it's reversing. We have an inverse head and shoulders as well on the four-hour chart here. We have a golden cross. We're above both moving averages, and right now we're testing 160, which is a big, uh, not support, resistance from it looks like here the middle of October. So if that breaks, we might start going mid-160s. If that breaks... Maybe we start going even higher. So J and J, keep your eyes on that. Procter and Gamble, as well has been. Uh, it's been pretty rough for this one. It's down about eleven dollars per share over the past couple of months. Down about seven percent. So let's see if Procter and Gamble maybe starts to rebound. Maybe break out of that trend line here as they report earnings on the 23rd in the morning. So PG, Netflix, as well as this month, NFLX, which overall, this has to break 500 bucks. That's kind of what I'm waiting for and what I'm watching out for when it comes to uh, Netflix. If we break above that $500 mark, I'm thinking we could start going 550. I believe that's the point, uh, the mark that I'm watching. Yeah, 550. Then if that breaks, maybe towards that all-time high, maybe just maybe, guys. So Netflix, keep your eyes on that. And we have a couple of other ones here, guys, uh, which we have Tesla. Of course, can't forget about Tesla. They're set to report earnings, I think, on a Wednesday. I think it's the last Wednesday of the month or maybe the second half uh, uh, to last Wednesday. Either way, 
Uh, they're on the 24th of this month in the morning. Or actually, no, they're, they're not in the morning. Uh, they're after the bell. Yeah, after the bell for Tesla. We also have, of course, Visa and MasterCard. They always report earnings in the same week. So they're set to report, I think, on the 23rd, right? Yeah, 23rd for Visa and MasterCard is on uh, the day after, I believe. Uh, two days after, yeah, on the 25th in the morning. So MasterCard 25th in the morning. And we also have Intel, uh, which has sold off a bit here in the past couple of days, down about 5 bucks per share. They're set to report earnings on, let's see, the 25th after the bell. So Intel, keep your eyes as it is above uh, the 180 SMA here on the 4-hour chart. Keep your eyes on Intel. And let me just zip through the last couple here, guys. We have Exxon this month as well, which is down a good chunk, about 15% from the recent high. So they're reporting on, I believe, actually, no, they're on the 2nd of February. So they're actually next month. Uh, but either way, pretty soon here within the next four weeks, uh, we have Exxon reporting. We also have AMD, which is worth watching. They're set to report earnings on, let me see here, guys, the 30th, so the second to last day of this month. We also have McDonald's. I know some of you guys like McDonald's. I'm not a big fan anymore. I used to love it as a kid, but let me tell you, man, McDonald's fries, they'll have a special place in my heart forever. I'm telling you, man, they're the best fries, at least in my opinion. I don't want to say the best, but top three when it comes to, I guess, fast food fries, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think McDonald's is up there, at least for me. I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the comments. But, man, McDonald's fries are great. They're set to report earnings on, it looks like, here the 5th of February. So they're in February. And, of course, we have Pfizer, which I'm watching here. They're set to report earnings on, let's see here, guys. Come on, the 30th of this month. So those are the stocks that I'm watching. And, of course, as they report earnings as they're more or we're more close to the date, I'm going to break them down even more. The estimates, all that good stuff. But I'm just putting these on your radar, guys, for this video. So if you all found value, hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. As always, I appreciate you all. And don't forget to get your free stocks for Moomoo, guys. Open up your account using that link down below and fund it with at least 100 bucks. You get five stocks. And fund it with at least $1,000. You get 10 more stocks. And listen to this, guys. Each of those 15 stocks could be valued up to 2 thousand dollars so get on it use that movement link down below and with that being said guys cheers i'll catch you all in the next video